Emma, tell us your name, where you came from, and what our Lord Jesus Christ has done in your life. Me gurutrombo ele dinalo e apawaja de na shomwe ne wetu Jesus Christ usa ninga munga la munyo e. My name is My name is Ndambelela Simon Kalumbu. I'm from Okanje. Sorry, Shalumbu. Okanje. I'm here to share my testimony. Thanking God. And his apostle, Apostle Shonde. For what the Lord has done for me. Oh, I thank God very much. I've been strangled for 20 years. I've been experiencing strangling. Every time I'll be strangled a lot. I even went to witch doctors and I also went to various churches I only got better results but I only got come to found a solution here with Apostle Shombe because when I came here I had a pain in the leg Hallelujah! Somebody rejoice in the Lord! And the man of God prophesied to me and declared that that leg of mine is healed and that snake which was causing the pain that was in my leg, it has died. The, the snake that was put in my leg, it is dead as well. And truly that uh, leg was paining and it was burning and I could feel there was always a movement as that of a snake in my leg. Hallelujah! Somebody rejoice in the Lord! And Grandma said that I always pray that Lord God, this battle is not mine, but it is yours. The Lord has really helped me through his seven apostles. Hallelujah! Because grandma is saying that they were all being strangled in the house for all those years and that spirit will come in the house and strangle them all but now it doesn't happen to either one of them anymore. After she was prayed for by Apostle Shombe. That she said she has been struggled every day until she was so worried and concerned that she found herself even talking to herself when she's walking in the day until people started speculating that she might have a mental problem. How many days now without being strangled, Grandma? Hallelujah! Hallelujah! that she no longer experienced that strangling and there is no more mo uh, strange movements in her house. Grandma, you say there was a snake in your leg. And the servant of God said that the snake is dead and you are free. Uh, what could you not do when you had that painful leg? I she said she could not do anything it was paining a lot and she was only trying to walk but even though she was paining she always walked and prayed that God will bring her a solution one day 
and when the when you were working with that was that leg not paining takavele ndo ditulete mukalunga takavele ndo ditulete mukalunga ndio kwata kaveruka ndaba mwango tatine oh mem mem muni pupu okolo kota kaveruka ngashi ahena okolo takuveruka oh mem ya sholola wali it is sholola ndiri pukalunga ndiri ku yesu sa haleluya clap your hands beautiful for jesus christ that uh, she was walking with that leg even though it was paining and she always used to confess that it will be healed even though her children used to discourage her and doubt and outrightly tell her that they don't believe that that leg will heal she will to keep pro uh, she used to keep professing that her leg will heal because she is with God and God will heal her what word of encouragement do you want to tell us this wonderful morning me kuluicha ashike eto nkumo tatupungula yonena ai amandi lapai konkumo Hakulupe wa kwetu Vamina hala ne kengere kadi Watati itai kengere kadi wewe Ashikoshi wewe watashi kumangu Haleluya Rejoice in the Lord Grandma is encouraging especially those who are of her age. She said that most of the elderly do not want to go to the revival churches. And she's therefore telling them that even though they don't want to come to the revival churches, they should know that the revival church will truly set you free. Our word of encouragement to you. Keep coming to Jesus Christ. Make the word of God a standard of your life. Your testimonies are permanent in the mighty powerful name of Jesus Christ. Go and enjoy your freedom. Rejoice in the Lord. Thank you, Father.